Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. You're probably seeing all this mess and thinking what on earth is she doing? Well, I today, well tonight, it's um, nearly nine o'clock on Thursday evening. So I wanted to make a pumpkin carriage. Now I know there's been a couple of people that have made them and they look absolutely stunning. Um, I believe, um, I'm pretty sure it was a couple of people. Um, I forget names, um, but I've definitely seen a couple on the Facebook page. So I wanted to come along and do my version of a pumpkin carriage. And this was more for um, a good friend um, who requested it during the live when the dice set was um, showcased on the Tonic Live. So I'm going to be using, um, I'm not going to go through everything, but um, I'm going to be using the Haunted Halloween Collection die set and I'll be using the dies that create the pumpkin and that's what we're going to put together but I've also decided to make the axle with the wheels and I'll be using pieces from the uh, wheelbarrow um, die set I'll quickly bring that in um, because again I want this to be mainly about the construction and um, so I've used the wheel um, from here I've used the big um, strip here and I've used this. So I've, I've cut four of these, I've cut four of these, I've cut eight of these um, and you need eight of this long strip here as well. Um, so if you haven't got this, this is the wheelbarrow, um, bear with me, let me just take that packaging. This is the Whimsical Wheelbarrow Die Set. So those are the three die sets that I've kind of um, used and I basically um, also I've used the uh, Enchanted Fairy Village collection as well. Um, I've taken the windows, the circle window out of this one. I've taken some of the ivy from this one, um, butterflies and this um love heart um, window here and I've taken the door um, this door here and I've basically cut it in half and um, so I'll only be using the bottom section of it sorry it's upside down but I'll be using the bottom section of it as um, the door um, to get into the carriage um, I was going to do a step but I've decided not to. Um, I may add it on later, um, but for now I just want to focus mainly on the carriage um, to kind of give you an idea of what I'm planning to do. So we'll do the carriage part, um, the axle first. So basically the long strip that has the tabs on it, I've cut out four of them, but I've trimmed it down um so it basically and it's really important i don't know if you can see this probably not actually here we go let's just move that up here um so this measures approximately 10 and a half centimeters um so if you're looking at inches where we are talking about so 10 would be four and a quarter inches um, and then I've cut the tabs off these um, the ends of these and these measure um, just under 10 centimeters so just under four inches so you need two of these you need to trim them down um, so that they have tabs at either end one side is obviously done for you the other one you have to manipulate and cut yourself um, and then basically another one here so I have basically put one together 
I've done the wheel construction as well and basically this is what it will look like um, and it actually moves um, and I'll, I'll, I'll explain as I show you how to do it I'll explain how I've done this um, because those wheels do actually move so let's put one together um, and then um, I can kind of explain as I go along so I've already got all of my wheels done I just need to do one more so we'll do that now let's just move all of this out of the way um, right so um, you need two of these as I have mentioned and I did cut two pieces of craft perfect together I'm using ivory white craft perfect and um, I've used 250 GSM um, ivory card um, I've used pearlescent card in ivory sheen um, and the rest of the box is in ivory uh, off the off-white ivory I think it's off-white or something like that anyway so I'm basically curving this um just want to make sure there's no glare on the uh, screen just make sure looks okay bear with there we go hopefully sorry I'm just moving everything or trying to anyway okay so let's put this together so basically all I'm doing is folding these tabs in like so then bring them back up I'm just going to apply glue to each of these tabs and then glue start gluing them i hope you're all keeping well um i've had a very long week so far uh, work has been a bit manic recently and uh yeah i've had some really early morning starts over the last week or so initially I thought life was going to get better and um, that I wouldn't have to start work at half six in the morning which means then it's an early start and so you kind of get up at about five half five have to leave the house by um six quarter past six um so yeah it's been a it's been a little crazy over the last uh, few days to say the least well for the last two weeks really um but thankfully my colleague my amazing colleague has um stepped in and said she'll do tomorrow so so my saving grace and then uh, I have a day off I don't want to jinx it right now but I have a day off um, on Saturday and then I'm just working a few hours on Sunday and then hopefully my life can go back to normal soon <laughs> it's been uh, yeah been hectic to say the least so I'm just going round and just gluing all these tabs down and then I'm just going to apply a tiny dot of glue on here, on this edge here, and then tuck that in as I am going round. And if I'm being honest, I haven't actually made the wheelbarrow, which is surprising because I love the whimsy kind of feel of the wheelbarrow. But at least I'm using some elements from it today. Oh, sorry. 
just move that out of the way. Right, so that is the first part of the wheel. So the next part is basically the same thing again, but this time I'm just going to curve it and I'm just going to apply glue just around the side of this. And then basically, what side are we going to start? Right. I'm just going to tuck this in from the inside so the tabs are um, pointing upwards. And then once I've done that, let's just tuck that in. And then I'm just going to work my way around. There might be a little bit of overlapping, but that's okay. Just make sure you push it in as much as it will go. I apologise if there is any shadows. Um, it's quite late in the evening so that's in and then all I'm going to do is press those tabs in and then I'm just going to apply glue to each of those glue tabs and then we are going to Try and align the wheel as best we can and then just press down. You will get a nice neat finish as long as you've done the first section right. And then just press down so all the tabs align and go down. So, and then you should have a wheel that looks like this, like so. So then what we are going to do is, let me just find all the pieces. Oh, there it is. So then with this, this is the smaller part for the axle, just going to Fold all these score lines and then apply some glue and then stick this down. So while I've got it flat, I'm just going to trim one side of these tabs. Just want to make them short and I'll explain why in a second. So once that is done I'm just going to fold these tabs in at one end and then just stick that down. Might just have to hold it for a second so that the glue grabs. I'm using Nouveau Deluxe, sorry my bottle is a bit battered. Um, but that's what happens. So that part is done. So we've got that. This one will go on this wheel here, like so. And I've just basically attached a little flower on there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, just to cover up the hole that we have there. So I'll leave that one there. So we are now going to do the same for this side. So I've got these tiny flowers, from, again, from the wheelbarrow um, uh, die set. So I'm just going to spread that out. I'm just applying a tiny dot of glue on each side and I'm just going to stick this flower on. Like so.
You can cut it smaller if you want to, but I'm not too fast. And then take the smaller flower, glue that on in the middle, like so. So I'm just going to let that dry because what that's going to do is just basically go through both those holes there. There, like that. Like that. So I can leave that to dry for a second. So then I'm going to move on to these two sections. So again, I'm just going to fold all these score lines. some glue into the long glue tab and then just press that down so you get something that looks something that then looks like this. And then we're going to do the same again with this one. I've gone for neutral colours. Um, because although a pumpkin is orange, I wanted it to have a bit of a elegant look to it. So I'm just going to apply glue to the smaller tab here. And again, just press that down. Use your precision tool if you want to, because it might help the deer. And then push that back out like so. So I have two that look like this, as you can see. So that's basically two that look the same. So now what we are going to do is stick the wheels in. And basically, when we stick the wheels in, the hole is big enough for these smaller pieces to go in and then you'll have something that basically moves like so. So basically all I'm doing is applying glue to this bit. Let's just take that out for a second. And then I'm just going to hold that and let that stick. And to do the same again with this one let me just find the handle and I'm going to do the same on this side so the reason why I've attached flowers is basically to stop it from sliding out um, but it still moves, um, but obviously that, that, that was the whole reason, so it doesn't basically just come off. So then what we're going to do is these two sections where we've got the tabs, we are going to glue them. Let's just be patient with our glue for a second, because I need the glue to grab my... My cats have seen something and I hope it's not a big spider. Right, I'm going to let the glue dry on that one for a second. Oh. So in the meantime, I am going to apply glue. Uh -oh. oh my goodness me. 
Um, okay, that is a huge spider. Like, sorry for freaking out, people. But, um, wow. <laughs> if anybody knows me, you'll know I am absolutely petrified of spiders. Now, my cats are on red alert here. So, hoping that they will save me. So I apologise, sorry. I'm just going to put some glue on the inside here. And then I'm going to apply. Wow. Okay. I need to compose myself, please. I was not expecting that to happen right now, but um, apparently these things happen. Bubbles, lucky. was it where'd it go where did it go i think one of you needs to stay at that end of the tv stand and the other one you can stay on alert at that side wow that was fast gosh i'm so sorry everyone i am literally just um breaking a sweat here right so that still moves, as you can see. Just need to make sure it's straight. Gosh, if only you could see what my cats are doing right now. Wow, okay. So now we are going to do the same on this side. So I'm just gonna apply some glue on both of these and just stick this side down. Sorry, apologies if I'm a bit quiet. I am literally, my heart is skipping beats here. Right. So, as you can see, the wheels are still moving. They rotate like so. So then now I'm going to attach this end. So I'm just going to, again, apply some glue on these tabs here. I'll try and do both together at the same time. And then we're just going to stick these ones on. It's really awkward to hold. Stick that one and try and squeeze that one in and stick that one there. So now, as you can see, they all move so if you can see that that's how it's going to be and then I've just cut out a piece of card in a pearlescent ivory uh, pearlescent card and this measures ten and a half centimeters by just under 10 centimeters and this is basically going to well it was supposed to sit like so but it seems that it's a tad short but that's okay i'm not too worried about it being slightly short it covers the main section of it which is what i'm wanting it will still move this is just going to be the base for um, the carriage the pumpkin to sit on 
um so that's fine yeah just double check in so i will literally just apply a thin bit of glue around the edge here What's the matter, Bubbles? Where'd it go? Where did it go? Okay, so that is my, the base. So that's done. We'll move that out of the way. So the next section, I've taken the this is the embossing folder from Harvest Cascade and this is the one with all the pumpkins on. So this is what I've used. I've cut out the panels um, from the pumpkin die set and I've basically cut out six. Two with circles in the middle and one with a door frame in the middle. And the reason why I've done that is because I'm going to be applying vellum between this section on these three pieces, on this section on the back here, and basically sandwiching it with these. Now, when I cut these out, I basically put the pearlescent card underneath and place the circle die on top, and I literally cut it out, and it's given me the perfect circle so where it sandwiches in between my pearlescent card and my normal craft perfect card um it will basically sandwich beautifully and you won't see anything but i'm going to construct um the main body of the pumpkin first so for this you need one of the hexagons um so I've cut out two, sorry, you need two hexagons, one for the lid and one for the base. You can double them up if you want for strength, but I don't really want to make it too heavy. So I just need to remember they all need to go in the right direction. So these three pieces will be the front part of my I hope you can see that. This will be the front part of my carriage. And then I've got these three pieces that will form the back. I haven't done windows for the back because I want the focus to be at the front. So all I am going to do before I do anything is basically fold all my tabs. Do try and um, give your cardstock a bit of um, a curve. You can use a precision tool or you can do it your um, fingers it's up to you you won't really see all of this anyway because it will be covered with the pearlescent card so if I just do that it just makes life easier for when I go to glue it on I'm trying to do this quick because I don't really want it to turn into a really long video and it's already at 28 minutes so I'm hoping in an hour we will get most of this done there's me hoping right but we can do it been there done it we can do it you just need to make sure your tabs go in the same direction when you glue things on so if we start with the sections that have the um the apertures cut out just make sure you butt it up and press against it, the glue tab. That's perfectly aligned. So then the next one is going to be this one. I'm just going to apply some glue onto there and then stick 
this one on. My cats are literally sitting by the TV stand waiting for an appearance from this spider. I really don't know where it's coming from. It could have been when my daughter's IKEA furniture got delivered. Right, applying more glue, sticking the next piece on. Anyone watching, are you petrified of spiders like me? Or, I mean, usually if it's a big spider, I can um, put a cup over it, but I wasn't prepared for this one. And with all, everything laid out, I'm just, yeah, my cats are on high alert. What am I doing? See, I can't even concentrate because I know there's a huge spider. <sighs> okay, right, next one. Let's keep going. We're not going to be defeated. I don't know what it is, but where I live, we have got some huge, like when I say huge, I'm not even joking. These are huge spiders. I don't know where they've come from, but literally, they're huge. Bubbles. You're making me really anxious. Well, you can sit up on your high stool and you can look down. And you can keep me safe. Can't you? Now anything that moves is just going to make me jump. Right, let's get the next two done. And then hopefully we can start constructing this. CP is the best um, card for um, doing curves. Um, but although I say that, I think this one, because it's got these score lines going through the middle um, of the cardstock, it basically allows for a little bit of uh, movement. And then the last one. Okay, so now what we are going to do is start gluing the sides up. So, I just apply some glue to these tabs. I usually start at the top and then work my way down. This is how I find it easiest. So whether it's the baubles or what have you, I always start at the top and then work down. Uh-oh. Doki, what are you doing?
Oh, Lucky, what are you doing? What have you found? Okay, that's the first one. So then we are going to do the next one. So again, align the top, because if your top is aligned, everything should fall into place. I just find it so much easier when you grab it from the top, because everything, it's like everything fits perfectly then. I have thought about doing a bauble, doing a video for the bauble, because I know that was recently... Um, recently sold on Create and Craft and um, from Tonic Direct. Okay, right. let's do the next one. like a bit of a spaceship really doesn't it with these windows cut out I have also um, cut out embellishments and things um, which I'll show you in a second once I've glued all this um, so I've cut out like I said the windows um, I've also cut out some ivy and a few butterflies from the um, Fairy Village collection. So um, obviously you can add your own um, embellishments to it. And if you do decide to um, make one, then please, please, please do share what you make. I love seeing... Um, people's makes um, if you do decide to share your makes um, you can do so on the tonic facebook official page and um, what tonic do is when they do their friday live um, they have a show and tell bit at the end if they have time i know recently they've been pushed for time but they have a show and tell section um, in the live and they share what everyone makes. Um, if you're willing to obviously share it on Facebook because that's where they kind of collate or collect um, everyone's makes from. And then they'll show it off um, to their viewers. So... It does get a little bit of a tight squeeze when you get to the last panel um, because obviously you're trying to line everything up and all the sides are then brought up so it makes it a bit more of a tight squeeze. And then we are going 
going to do the last one. Perfect. So then you will have something that basically looks like this. So it's at this point now um, that I do have a hinge and I need to just quickly measure this. Um, I cut two out. So here's that top one there. That's the door. Just going to measure this out and then just chop off what I don't need. I've just measured it against the door that I've made. And I'm just going to have it nice and clear. to here like so and then I've cut another one out of pearlescent card because I just wanted to back this on so it looks neat basically so I'm just oh just gonna apply this one to here just level it and then just press down. So then that forms my hinge. Oh gosh, I'm really like fidgety now. Right, so that's basically going to get glued onto here, like so. I just need to double check. I think I'm going to do the vellum first, make life easy on myself. So let's have a look. Okay. So I'm just going to apply glue. And just so you know as well, vellum is a very difficult um, material, if you like. To work with and the reason why it's difficult is because it doesn't like to attack like glue down to anything obviously I'm trying but it doesn't like it so let's put these pieces on and get that out of the way I'm not being neat about anything here either, which is not usually the case. I'll just stick my last piece of vellum on. And then obviously you can put a tea light inside if you wanted to. Um, I probably will put a tea light on actually. 
And by the way, it doesn't matter if it looks messy because you're not going to see these sections anyway because they're going to be sandwiched. And because it's wet adhesive, you will see like the corners start to curl up a little bit. But again, it's nothing to worry about. So where are we now? We are at 45 minutes. Okay, this, the, this next section shouldn't take too long. So I am going to apply some glue onto this tab here. And what I want to try and do is glue this like so. Obviously the door doesn't open up to anything um, because it's it's basically um, just for decoration purposes. Um, but that's the section I think I'm going to do first to get it out of the way because I need to make sure everything aligns. So I'm just going to apply lots of glue. And don't forget as well, because it's embossed, not all sections will glue down evenly. So apply lots of glue. And that is a lot of glue. So then, and this will align perfectly because it is cut perfectly to size. So I'm just going to level that. get a bit of glue on I wouldn't worry too much about it yeah okay so that first section is glued then let's do the window ones so again lots of glue Especially around the window edge.
and then we'll do the last three pieces and then we just have the lid to do and then we're done I'm gonna stick some windows on that will basically be it and some foliage actually I have made um, one of these before, um, so if you want to check that out, it is on my YouTube channel. It's the pink, um, I made a pink, well, I don't know what you'd call it, pink vase, I guess. Let's stick the next one down. And then the last panel to go on is this one. So that makes the box. I'm just going to quickly grab a drink, sorry. So that makes the carriage, if you like. So let's just bring this in because that is going to sit like so. <laughs> okay, so we're just going to stick some windows on. This might be a little bit challenging, but let's see how we get on because we're gluing onto vellum. So I don't actually know. Getting glue everywhere. I'm just going to put that in here. I'm just going to have to hold it for a second because it's just going to take a minute to stick. Just going to make sure it's level. And then do the same with the second window. I think if I wasn't as frightened by this spider, I probably would have taken more due care and attention for this project because I've been really looking forward to getting this done. But uh, yeah, fears and stuff, you know, phobias. They kind of, I'm kind of scanning this room like Terminator. Okay, so that. Grab it while, hold it while it grabs. So there's that. And then now we're going to quickly um, make the lid. So let me put that to one side so it dries. Right, in order to make the lid then, you still need another hexagon with the little tabs. 
Um, I've also used some of the embellishment dies. So let me just bring those in. There's something missing from here. Um, bear with me. There it is. Right, so just going to. I was actually going to cut this off, but I'll see how it looks first before I do anything like that. So I'll quickly. Oh, so this is the. Again, this is the pearlescent card in ivory and I've used, um, there's a die in there that cuts the um, panel out, which is shaped like a roof. And then I've used the embossing die. Um, I don't know if that picks it up, but it's absolutely stunning. Really simple, but stunning. So I've added these to all of my pieces. So I'll just add the last one on now. Like so. Just fold all the tabs. Obviously, feel free to use your um, precision tool for this. I'm just going in. I'm doing it with my hands. And then once I've done this, I'm going to have a quick tidy and then I'm off to bed because I have a very busy day tomorrow. Thankfully, I don't have to be at work for half six. So I guess that's a bonus. Um, right, two more to do, and then we will be nearly done. And one last one. So, okay. Going to apply glue to these tabs and then start applying craft kit is going to arrive tomorrow which I am looking forward to so I might have a play at the weekend with that I'm looking forward to the papers because um, it's got the um, the oh what do you call it F um, frosted rose papers in it which is just absolutely stunning anybody that knows me knows I love pink so this is a actually this particular um make is a, a huge change for me because normally I add pink I haven't even added any pink to this which uh is quite shocking really when I do like samples and things I try and use bold colours um, so they stand out on TV um, so it you know so customers viewing it can actually get a good idea of what something looks like so although I might do some things in pink I generally go for bold colours um, whereas when it's something that I'm making that I like or 
well I like everything but when I'm making something for me should I say that's probably a better term um I generally tend to use pink quite a lot um And obviously the Harvest Cascade collection is just one that you have to have. Honestly, I'm just like, you, you go to put it away and you're like, oh, I can make this and I can make that. And um, so it's just like, right, what's next? What's next? What are you doing next? So it's one of those you want to put down, but um, it's quite addictive because I love pumpkins absolutely love pumpkins okay so that is now glued um, what I will do is just start applying glue so I wasn't going to have the zigzaggy bits but I think I've done it now so it is what it is I guess so That's one. Next one. I apologise if I'm making it look really complicated. It actually isn't. It's probably one of the most simplest pumpkins to put together. And when I say simple, it is literally the simplest of pumpkins. And I think it's so good that tonic measure everything out for you so you are literally just constructing I think the hardest part about it is cutting everything out um, but the measuring everything like that is done for you just makes life so much easier if you are interested in the harvest cascade um, or um, any of these dice for that matter. Um, some of them, like for example, the wheelbarrow one, that's unfortunately not available. And obviously the fairy house is not available anymore. Um, you can potentially look at sell and buy on tonic, or there's another one um, that sells tonic dies. But unfortunately, certain dyes that are popular, they just become like rocking horse poop, really. Or should we say unicorn poop? They're just, you, you know, they're just very hard to come by. But the secondhand selling pages are your best bet or eBay. Um, but I know eBay can be quite extortionate at times. Um, so have a look might come across them I don't actually know if the I, I, I don't know if the pumpkin is available still but if it is um, I can link that in the description if you are interested um, but like I say I just get the feeling it's not available anymore because it did go on to create and craft I did do some samples um, for create and craft when it was um, launched on there I made a like a I think it was a fresh mint um, witch's hat and I did a um, I did a fresh mint witch's hat and I did a red poison apple um, for my samples right we're on the last bit so it's only now I will decide whether I'm actually putting the stalk on or whether this video has got to yeah we've hit an hour we have hit an hour people so I apologize I wasn't expecting it to take this long but I would rather you see the pumpkin in its full glory oh look 
don't actually know if I like the zigzags on it. But I guess it's meant to look like a pumpkin, isn't it? So, hmm, okay. So that's what it's going to look like. Okay. Um, I do have this piece that I've cut out that I thought I would use as decoration. I do have, let's put this together. Let's see how it comes out. No harm in trying, is there? Not to say that I will stick this on, but let's see. Just folding all these tabs back. So I've got glue all over my fingers and my hands. Just gonna apply some glue. some glue onto the smaller tabs for the handle and then just work my way around says she oh, it's starting to come off right, hold on patience patience is a virtue up and then we are going to apply some glue on the on these larger tabs and then just stick one of the larger hexagons on There we go. 
and I did cut out this gold pumpkin. I'm just going to glue it on. I'm not saying that I'm going to use it, but I'm still going to glue it on, I think. And I'm doing my stalk like um, a knob. It's basically just going to sit like so. So let's just glue this on. So that is going to be the front. So let's do it this way. And it's equal. Let's take it off here. This hexagon onto this one here. And then so I said it was going to be that way. So Let's Let's put that. I would use hot glue for this bit if I was you, so you can guarantee that's that's going to stick down. Or the other thing you can do is cut the smaller hexagon out into the um, the lid, and then um, under here you can basically um, glue them down. But I'm going to do it like this to make life easy. So that needs to go that way. Really. And then that basically is my pumpkin kind of completed. It's going to look basically like that. But what we want to do quickly is I've cut out some of this foliage. And what I want to do is stick some of this down just to add a bit of pretty pretty to it. And I've used um, pistachio green for the foliage. I ordered some card and it arrived uh, yesterday. Yesterday or well, maybe the day before. I can't remember. But it's when um, Tonic had the um, eight packs for a tenner. Um, so I ordered quite a lot of, um, well, I ordered 10 packs of pistachio. Um, I'm just waiting for a couple of things to be fulfilled. Um, it's going to take longer for it to adhere because I'm gluing onto pearlescent card. So I'm just going to hold it down for a second. Let's get another one. Add some glue. What would be good is if I added some um, flowers, but I'm trying my utmost best not to keep using loads and loads of flowers on everything um, because I do have a tendency to do that. I'm just going to glue that on down here. Adding lots of foliage. Okay. 
couple more. My eldest has gone to pick the youngest up from work tonight. So um, I'm sure when they come in, there's going to be crash bang wallop because all the Ikea stuff is near the front door. Okay. Trying to keep it simple. So there's some foliage there. And then I'm just going to put a couple more pieces on to the front here. stick some on trust it to get tangled okay so then let's just put the lid on for a split second and it's obviously going to go in here like so what I wanted to do was, yeah, okay. So I'm just going to add some foliage. Just break them down. Like so. Another one. We are nearly done, guys. I promise. I'm so sorry it's taken so long. Blame the spider. Slowing down my pace. <laughs> oh, dear. Have some crates in down here. Let's just do one more. Let's stay on my glue as well. And then we'll just have one coming down here. I just need to add some glue. onto this bit here quickly. So then all I am going to do is apply some glue. Ooh, let's, let's do that now, get it out of the way. Just going to apply some glue to the base here. See what I'm doing because I'm kutching. Kutching the baby. And lots of glue onto here. And then I am going to apply this. Let's do it on this side. Just going to apply this onto here. Just make sure it's lining up like 
and it's even on either side. I'm just going to press that down. You could go and obviously cover up the rest and you know add more foliage to it, but I just wanted to keep it simple. Oh, says she. Oh, hold on, forgot a couple of things here. Right, hold on, bear with. Let me just take some of this glue off my fingertips. We are at an hour and 20 minutes. Okay, well, it's one of those nights where things take a little bit longer than I anticipated, so I apologise. So I'm just going to stick some butterflies. Bear with. Just take this glue off. Goodness me, one second, I'll leave these in gents. Bubbles, it's only glue. Just taking it off my fingers. Right, I'm just going to apply. Let's take the lid off for a second. I'm just going to apply some butterflies. And why not? And again, the butterflies are from the fairy uh, village. Um, let's stick one on there, like so. And another one from this side. Oh. oh dear, we didn't want that to happen, did we? Lucky no. Bubbles, no. Um just going to add two more butterflies on the lid and then we are going to call it a day So then that is my pumpkin carriage. I'm going to call this Carriage Awaits You. Fit for a prince or a princess or however you want to see it. And like I said, I don't know if the, the camera is picking this up, but the wheels move so you can go back and forth on it. They spin. Let's hide that bit. So I'm very pleased with how this has come out. Um, so yes, I think that is my video completed. I am so sorry this has taken so long. And I know I keep apologising because although I'm constructing it, it's your time that you take to watch my videos. And I really do appreciate all the love and the support that you all show. Um, it's incredibly kind um, of you all. Please do like and subscribe to my channel um, and hit that notification bell if you would like to see future videos from myself. Um, and hopefully you've enjoyed this um i know it was a very long construction um again bear with me one second i just want to quickly put the tea light in and see whether um, let's see how it looks because i do have a tea light to hand 
So let's just put one in for the sake of putting one in. This is, I'm really fidgety because I know there's a spider in here. Um, so I, again, I apologize for that too. Wow. Hold on, I'm gonna turn one of the lights off. I don't know if that gives it. Wow. <laughs> it's just not my day today, is it? And I've tried really hard not to rush or anything, but um, uh, I think that gives it a good effect. I like it. Um, so, as mentioned, let's do that one instead. Listening away, there it is. Um, so if you do like um, this video, please do give it a like, um, like, and subscribe to my channel. Um, if you have any comments, please leave them down below. Um, I'll put in the instructions the dies that I have used for this particular um, make, and um, hopefully, um, I'll be back again for another video. I don't know when. Uh, but you never know, I might be back at the weekend sharing something else. So thank you again so much and um, hopefully next time I won't take so long. Um, but thank you again and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much. Take care guys. Bye.